I'm Bob Daroff. Uh, I am in, in, currently in Cleveland. I've been there since 1980. I'm professor of neurology at Case Western Reserve University and I was the chairman of the department for uh, 13 years, 80 to 93. At the time, there were a lot of neuropsychiatrists or psychoneurologists. It was neuropsychiatry. Uh, neurologists did both. Many neurologists did both. Uh, and psychiatrists did both, except for psychoanalysts who just, they were the only ones who just did psychotherapy. And so, I don't know, I like neurology, they were very good neurology at Penn, uh, and so I decided to become one. When I went into neurology, there wasn't very much in the way of treatment. It was diagnose and adios. We made the diagnosis and then there was, un, you know, we left and uh, the therapy in neurology for just about everything. Now, there's some fields that we don't have very good therapy for, but headache, uh, Parkinson's disease, uh, stroke now. It's, uh, it's changed into a therapeutic uh, epilepsy, therapeutic specialty, and that's been remarkable. Plus, we're able to diagnose people while they're alive. We used to have to wait for the autopsy before CT and MR scanning. I got a call from Wallace Bradley, Wally Bradley, who was chairman of neurology at the University of Miami, and he said he's had this idea for 20 years to write a, the ultimate textbook of neurology, two volumes, etc. And he asked me, and I went with it at that point. And Wally Bradley, in the preface to our sixth edition of Neurology and Clinical Practice, which came out last year, he, he provided the history of the book, which is very well done. For the first edition, we were the, picked the, whatever the association of book publishers, I don't know, we were the best new textbook that year in the United States. And I forgot what year that was, 83, 84, I don't know. But we were number one in the world for text, medical texts. Residents and practicing neurologists. It's read by people who are neurologists who are going to be neurologists and they, they don't, neurologists, most of us don't know everything about the entire field and you can read about aspects of neurology that isn't your major interest and learn what's new. To the University of Pennsylvania, uh, I'm a freshman. And I joined a fraternity, and I was a healer. You know, you go through and hit all that stuff. And I was told, you have to go out for an activity. I said, but I'm a pre-med. You must go out for an activity. OK, I'll go out for the school newspaper, the Daily Pennsylvania. So I kind of liked it. I went up the ranks, and in my senior year, I was editor-in-chief of the Daily Pennsylvania, published every day. Uh, and I became a consummate uh, proofreader and editor. Not a great writer, but a great editor. Okay. And I've done a lot of editing since. Uh, I became editor-in-chief of Neurology, the official journal of the American Academy of Neurology. I just love to edit. 